Jockeys in thoroughbred racing must be small enough to meet specific weights, but size was never thought to be too important in harness racing until smaller drivers like George Schulte came along. But Schulte, who once trained horses owned by pro basketball great Walt Chamberlain, believes his small stature is an asset. Well, a lot of the old timers, when I got in the horse business, they uh, saw a little squirt like me around and started to train horses and drive at the county fairs, and I weighed around 100 pounds then. And I'm still five foot two and weigh about 114 to 16 most of the time. But uh, they thought I was too small, too, too weak. I couldn't be able to handle a horse. It's just nature. If, uh, if you put... Uh, 250 pounds in a wheelbarrow and you and you load it with a, another one right side by side with 100 pounds and somebody tells you to go push that thing for a mile, you're going to pick up the one with 50 pounds. Schulte began driving in 1951 on the fair circuit in his home state of Indiana. Eventually, he moved to the top harness tracks and won five driving titles at Yonkers. Along the way, he has developed several outstanding harness horses, including Sun Sam, who Schulte considers one of the greatest pacers in the history of the sport. But it's going to be Sun Sam winner. For Schulte, his success is simply a matter of skill and physics. I would uh, say if I was a horse, I'd rather pull me than I would a 250-pound man. In 1984, Schulte went to work as the contract trainer and driver for Castleton Farm a position that should keep him near the top of the sport of harness racing. This is John Henderson reporting.